which I normally don't like to do, but um, I am I am at a wedding venue actually, and um, I'm here extremely early, um, and I just figured I would be pro productive with my time. So I'm in the car. Um, I can do some. As you can tell by the title of this video, um, I am going to be talking about the book Dark, Dark, Matter, Dark Matter by Blake. is marketed as a fiction thriller and technological is what it says. I personally would call it more like thriller sci-fi type video. I mean video <laughs> type of book. Um, it is about our protagonist Jason and he has a life that is a good life, but like all of us, um, he has, I wouldn't say regrets per se, but he has curiosities of what could have been. Um, so he is a, he's a physics professor at a pretty okay college, nothing too prestigious, but also, you know, not like you know, I mean, he's, he's a professor, so obviously he's very smart, um, and he is married to his wife named Daniela. They have a 15-year-old son, and I would say it's just kind of like an average life. I mean, they, you know, they have everything they need, they, they seem to have a good marriage, um, but... He was pursuing something, he was on the brink of something really great in his late 20s, I think it said when he was like 27, and he was going to be published as this scientist, this physicist, he was working on something really big, and then he meets this woman, Daniela, they get together, you know, they're dating or whatever, and then she falls pregnant, and he kind of has to make a decision in that moment, do I want to pursue a family life, or do I want to abandon this woman that I love and uh, pursue my career? So, um, he ends up obviously pursuing that family life, and he seems to be, you know, a good father. He always wonders if he's doing everything right. Um, anyway, so skipping to the thrilling part, he sets out on, um, he sets out to go meet one of his friends and, um, congratulate this, this 
best friend for winning um, a very prestigious science award and he goes to the bar he meets the friend and he's like you know thinking I've got to get back to um, I've got to get back to my family night you know I can't be out too long um, and so he ends up and then he walks home. So at this point in the book, you're thinking, okay, everything seems pretty normal. But he is followed by someone who seems quite familiar to him. Uh, but he can't place like how he knows this person. This person basically kidnaps him and takes him to this abandoned warehouse. The next thing he knows, he wakes up and everyone's like, welcome back, Jason. You know, we've really, we've been waiting for your arrival. We're so curious to see what you've created. They're saying all these things to him and he's like, what's everybody talking about? Because his last memory is walking home from this bar. Basically, it's it, in simple terms, a version of him from another universe created this scientific device where you can essentially go into this box and see every version of yourself. So if you've ever if you've ever done something and it turns out one way, you always wonder like what would have happened if I had have chosen something different or you know and I mean there are so many of these little moments um and like I just when I finished the book I was because before I started filming this I was thinking you know should I go take a drive or should I just stay here and finish the book and then film the video and I, when I finished the book I was like what would have happened if I had decided to just go for a drive um, instead of staying here and finishing the book. Like, you just never know how one little decision is going to affect so many things. And so the book, I would say, really deals with, to me it was very thought provoking because it kind of puts you in this perspective of Number one, every version of yourself would have regrets, right? Because we all have the unknown. So even if this, and I entertain the idea that there is this multiverse where there's many parallel universes of us, but you know, you always wonder, what would have happened if I had have gone to this college or what would have happened if I had not made an ASMR channel or, um, you know, all of those things, but no matter what, the you that's in this moment is going to have regrets. And so this book basically like, is like a gateway, um, to show you what could have been and essentially kind of choose the ideal path. Now, I'm not going to say what happens after that because that's, to me, the actual plot of the book and 
it's quite thrilling. Uh, I couldn't put it down. I literally, I think it took me two days, two days to read, which I haven't gone through a book that fast um, in a while. I talked about Sea of Tranquility, and it was an equivalent type read for me, just like, and I, I know I said this in my last video about, um, like, books that I've been reading, but I really like these, like, science-y books. I, I don't think they're really considered sci-fi, but I like these books that, like, make me think of things that I would have never thought about, if that makes sense. Like, um, you know, I don't know anything about physics, so I would have never thought about all of this, this box that puts you in this superposition. Like, I don't know any of that stuff. Um, and so reading these types of books, like, really interests me because it's kind of like it takes me into a whole new world. I'm going to read you guys the back of the book. And hopefully I did a good job executing the storyline. But it says... Are you happy? Are you happy with your life? Those are the words, the last words Jason Dessen hears before the kidnapper knocks him unconscious, before he awakens to find himself strapped to a gurney surrounded by strangers in hazmat suits, before he's a man he's never met, before a man he's never met smiles down at him and says, welcome back, my friend. In this world he's woken up to, Jason's life is not what he knows. His wife is not his wife. His son was never born, and Jason is not an ordinary college professor, but a celebrated genius who has achieved something remarkable, something impossible. Is it this life or the other? That's the dream. And even if the home he remembers is real, how will Jason make it back to the family that he loves? From the author of best-selling Wayward Pines trilogy, Dark Matter is a mind-bending thriller about choices, paths not taken, and how far we'll go to claim the lives we dream. So, um, yeah, I, I heard about this book from TikTok. And I picked it up really not knowing what to expect. Um, and it was definitely a five-star read for me. I am a very indecisive person. I think I said this earlier. And I always wonder, like, what would have been, what could have been, what's going to be. And I think this book really changed my mindset. And it kind of showed me that, like, sometimes it's not about what your life has in it, but who is in your life, and that was a recurring theme in the book, it was almost a, a love story in a way, but like not, but there were definitely themes of love and just the gravitational pull that he had to his wife, and you know, in theory, there's multiple versions of her and these other multiverse universes, whatever, but um, his version of her was irreplaceable in a way. So, anyways, um, that is all I have. I know this wasn't probably the most relaxing video, but, um, I know that you guys tend to like book videos, and I was just so excited about this one, and I had some extra time, so definitely, definitely recommend. I think that this is one of those books, like, I feel like they should, they should assign this in school, because for me, it got me thinking more, not so much about the book itself, but just about kind of thinking about life in so many ways, and so I love that. I love when books make you think and kind of ponder, so, um, yeah, definitely, if you like to read, pick this one up. Or maybe see if you can.